Well, good evening, everybody. I'm John Haverfield, and this is your OU Nightly Weather Brief. Well, for today, we did have kind of a gloomy and windy and cold Wednesday. Unfortunately, for tomorrow, it's going to get a little worse in the weather department. We're going to see highs in the 50s, 57 degrees is what we're going to expect it to top out in Norman for tomorrow. A little bit cooler as you head further south, 54 degrees under overcast skies, and it looks like there's a pretty good bet for rain for tomorrow. Could see half of an inch to an inch. With this graphic here, you can see pretty much the whole state of Oklahoma has a half inch of rain expected for tomorrow. Even southeast Oklahoma has a chance of over an inch of rain, so a good soaking rain expected for tomorrow. For your day planner, your Thursday, it looks like this. Again, a very gloomy and rainy day expected for your Thursday. Go ahead and get out those uh, galoshes and your umbrellas because you're definitely going to need them for tomorrow. By 9 a.m. as you're waking up in the 40s, going to be chilly with those north winds 15 miles per hour. Rain by noon, 50 degrees, north winds 50 miles per hour as well with rain expected. And by 5 p.m., those rain showers should clear off rapidly and should move into eastern Oklahoma. And we should just be left with cloudy skies. For your five-day, again, very gloomy and rainy Thursday. Friday, things improve back in the 60s under sunny skies. And after that, things just look up. As you can see for the weekend, highs in the upper 60s on Saturday and Sunday, 72. And Monday, absolutely beautiful with highs in the 70s as well. Well, that's a look at your local weather. I'm John Haverfield. I hope you have a great day. Well, you're looking at a cold and blustery Wednesday out there. How long will this trend last and what does your weekend look like? I have all the details coming up in the forecast. You're watching OU Nightly. It's really chilly outside this morning. John, how low did those temperatures get? Well, they got pretty low. It was downright cold this morning. You know, I had an 830 class this morning and I had to be bundled up. It was very cold, very chilly, and very windy this morning. Here's a look at our morning wind chills. Now, this is what it feels like, what it felt like early this morning when you factor in the wind with the temperature. Felt like 26 degrees in Norman this morning. Very cold, 30 degrees down in Armour, 30 degrees as well in McAllister. And look at this up in Guymon this morning. If you're out and about in the early morning hours off in the panhandle, it felt like 9 degrees. So downright cold for this morning. How about for right now across the whole state? Things have warmed up generally. We're back in the 50s, 54 degrees in Norman right now. 56 degrees in Lawton, 56 as well in Armour, 54 in McAllister. So still kind of warm out there, still kind of chilly, probably still need a jacket uh, throughout the whole day today. For the evening planner tonight, um, looks like it's still going to be pretty chilly. It's going to be a little windy as we head into the evening hours. Northwest winds 14 miles per hour, 51 degrees. And by 9 p.m., still clear skies, very chilly in the 40s, 44 degrees. Northwest winds at 7 miles per hour. Those winds will calm down as we head later into the nighttime hours with clear skies all the way down into the 30s. I expect a very cold night for tonight. Come up in a little bit. I'll have a look at your five day and a closer look at your weekend, ladies. All right, thanks, John. The latter part of the week. Moving on to your weather pick for today. A very beautiful picture brought in to us by Stephen Jones. Look at that lightning. That is the OU campus there taken from one of the uh, parking garage there. If you have a nice weather pick, go ahead and post it to our Facebook group. Halloween forecast. Here it is again. Looking very nice tonight. It's going to be a beautiful Halloween. Take a look at the rainfall accumulations that uh, we do expect for Friday and Saturday. It will rain. I do expect it to start Friday night into Saturday and last through Saturday afternoon. And here's the expected uh, rainfall totals. Now the uh, orange is a half an inch and the red is an inch of accumulated rainfall. So just a big area of rain expected for most of the whole state, about an inch to a half an inch expected through all of Oklahoma. And then past this line right here, anything to the northwest of that is going to be snow. So there's a there's a fine line of that freezing line right here. Anything to the northwest of that is going to be snow and sleet off in the panhandle. But central Oklahoma is going to be left with mostly liquid precipitation. Structure damages, but uh, uh, nothing too bad. It, it could have been a lot worse, and it's very unusual for uh, this kind of situation to happen in November. So Now, John, I know to do this, you have to be somewhat an adrenaline junkie. Tell me what it's like to be in there with the storm. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a rush. It's a definite rush, uh, to say the least. Um, uh, you, it's just your adrenaline is pumping. You're kind of in, in the moment. Your emotions are put to the side. You're just kind of focusing on, on what's happening right now. You, and you, what, you, what you do is you, your first reaction is to warn the public of this tornado. And, what, and one thing we like to do with my uh, storm chasing team is we like to call the weather service whenever we see things like this to give the public an, an extra warning to, uh, to uh, take cover from these uh, tornadoes. But again, right, John, let's take another look at the five day. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that five day. Again, a very cold night for tonight. Do bundle up if you're heading out. 61 degrees for tomorrow. A very windy Saturday for your game day, 65. Another storm system moves in as we head into Sunday and Monday. 
7 degrees on your Monday with 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. But again, a three-dog night tonight, so bundle up if you're heading out.